What's happening, fam? LA Y'all Movement Still Moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link there also. They asked me to put it up, so I put it up. Thanks everybody for supporting. This video, though, is entitled Our Garden of Eden Mentality. Anybody who's read the Bible, who knows the story of the Bible, the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve, right? They were living in uh, a utopia of sorts. And it wasn't good enough. God said, don't eat everything but that tree right there. And it's like, okay. And the story goes, you know, Eve had got seduced by the devil, snake, whatever. Why are you not going to eat the apple? I think the story is exactly a quince, but whatever. Why are you not going to eat the apple? You know, why, why? You going to listen to that to that God that put you in this, all this utopia? You you telling me you're not bored? With, with, you don't, you, the boredom of you of not knowing? Don't you want to know what's going to happen if you eat the apple? I think you should eat the apple. You know, I just did a video about peer pressure, peer pressure, peer pressure, peer pressure, peer pressure. I can't even say it no more. I used to watch that on High High. But you should see what happened. Eve eats the apple, gives the apple to Adam, eats the apple. God said, didn't I tell you? Bye. Get out, you hard-headed ass. Now, why am I saying that? I've been hearing for years the term, these are first world problems. And we all... Associate other countries, a third world country. How do we ever? We don't even say we're second world. That's the crazy part about it. Is we don't say, uh, this is second world country. It's either first world, third world. I don't. I guess it stops at third. I, I guess that's what tell you. you. Ain't no middle class country, you know. But the problem with that is this: this need to know how how bad it could go. It can't be that bad. Let me push the envelope. Nothing's gonna really happen. If I do this, what are the real consequences? Because I'm, just, I'm just so bored, I gotta find out. You know, old, old uh, statement, curiosity killed the cat. So what I mean by our Garden of Eden mentality, we want to be so curious for consequences that we do stuff that give us the very same smoke we was looking for. And then all of a sudden, wait, I just, I just, I just want to know. I just want to know. I didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't want anything to happen. I just wanted to break all the rules, and I just wanted to know what would happen if I broke the rules. Well, this was about to happen. Now you got to pay the cost. No, 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 I don't know. No, I just wanted to know. Why couldn't you tell me? Why did you fucking do it? Because uh, I wanted to know. Now you know. Get your ass on. That's that simple. Just that simple. And now, this mentality goes with everything. You know, for, for people in America, I did it because I was bored. Oh, okay. Because see, a lot of people we do things because they need excitement. I, I crossed the line because I needed some excitement. Okay, you, was it exciting? Yes. Well, okay, cool. You was excited. Now, uh, you're going to pay for that shit. Wait, what do you mean? Just like Adam and Eve, when, when Adam and Eve got caught, God caught up with Adam and Eve, all right, y'all got to get the fuck out. Y'all hard-headed. <laughs> Why you going to do this to us? My God. Just because we broke the rules and disobeyed you and we let a motherfucking devil tell us what to do, <laughs> does not mean you should kick us out. Yes, it does. Get your punk ass out. Told you don't, don't do that. Was that too? Was that difficult? No, it really wasn't. But I just wanted to do what I wanted to do. Cool. And the reason I'm talking about this is because this goes from the highest level of government all the way to regular people. Because what does our, our government known for doing? Pushing the envelope. Everything that the American government has done in its history is scared of 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 the repercussions from it. <sighs> you know, goddamn. I mean, we eating off that, off off of this uh, trail of tears, and you know, you know, uh, uh, killing all these Indians. We eating off that shit, but uh, uh, 
<laughs> I don't want, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want it to come back and bite me on the ass, even though it was happy to kill these people. Happy to steal their land. Slavery and shit. Uh, it was a it was a stain on the American society, but uh, I don't want you to treat me the way I've treated you historically. That's so no, no, it's not right. Yes, I'm still eating good off of that. And yes, I said you need to pick yourself up by your bootstraps while I got all of your stolen money from. I'm living off of your labor, and I'm spending money that you earned. But no, I don't want to. Part of the reason for this, people flipping out on these uh, because of these birth rates, dropping population, uh, 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 the de demographics of America changing, uh, the European Union financially collapsing, is because guess what? White folks drain the whole fucking world of wealth. So now. You stole so much wealth, you even stole it from your damn self. But now you don't want to deal with the fallout. That's not everybody else's problem. That's the Garden of Eden mentality. You wanted it all. You couldn't stop. <laughs> like, God said, don't look, look. If you go this far, it's going to go down. What's the, what can he really do? I mean, what is God really going to do? I heard about the Sodom and Gomorrah thing. He's not going to do that to me. You think he's really going to burn us down and turn us into salt? Not me. Okay. Fine. What about karma? Oh! Not me. Now, I'm using the government as an example. You know, because same thing with immigration. Now we want to fight immigration and all that other shenanigans. Uh, I get it, though, but... It's all to circumvent karma. And this is what I mean by our Garden of Eden mentality. We want to push the envelope and circumvent karma. This is what happens with, when you see us in society as people. You know, people they have a bunch of rules not to do. Don't go around here speeding on the freeway. It's a speed limit, but people have to do it. <sighs> I just like going 100 miles an hour. Then your ass hit something. <laughs> Oh my God! It's an accident. It's not a motherfucking accident. It's a, it's on pur it's an accident on purpose because you've been fucking not following the rules this whole time. You know, I'm a safe, reckless driver. Right, right. You know, it's the same thing. People like having, you know, people love sex. Let's have unprotected sex. I'ma just I'm just going out. I'm raw dog in the world. Then you have too many kids and you mad at life and you got an attitude because you got too many kids and you can't take care of them. And now you mad because you got to work your ass off for the rest of your life and, and you stressed out. It's your damn fault. They told you the consequences to that. Or you catch something and now you got to deal with that for the rest of your life. And you mad because, you know, you got to deal with the ramifications of your own decisions because... You people told you, but what is what is the, the feel? I just like the feeling. I like the feeling so much that I don't give a fuck. And I've been throwing my dick out on a crap table of life, and I I've been winning this whole time. It's, it's, I, I gotta keep winning, right? What's the first rule of gambling? The house always wins, jackass. I'm cussing and stuff. I hope kids ain't watching this, but they probably are. So my bad. Now, the, our Garden of Eden mentality goes into everything to the point, you know, we're getting, we, we are getting away from actual labor. You know, everything is just supposed to be here for us. Like, part of um, the male, female, masculine, feminine thing against feminism is women feel like they can be on their own and they can do their own thing. But... Because they wake up in the world that's already built by men. Oh, I don't need no man. Uh, like, I'm sitting in this house right now. That's like me having a woman or a wife talking about, I don't need you. Oh, I'm going to just sit in your house that was built by men and that you paid for and that you put everything in. And now I don't need you. 
oh, I don't need you. It's so comfortable in here. You know, you not already put it together, but because it's so, okay, go start your own shit. Get, build your own fucking house, pay for your own house, blah, 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 blah. No, oh, no. This is why, you know, and, I, and I've been, and I've had girls in my house before. This is why I, I, I chuckle when I say this, because I've kicked chicks out. I'm running your shit. You do? Get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, you can't kick me out. Don't do it. I love you. No. 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 You knew the rules before you got to this bitch. So you push the envelope. Take your ass out into the wilderness. <laughs> you know? Is you wrong for this shit? No, I'm not. Should have thought about that. Don't eat my motherfucking apples when you're in my house, bitch. Told your ass. <laughs> I'm done, man. I'm just playing. I'm going too much right now. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.